lot of people want the Noah update, our intern that uh, is a bit on the feminine side. I mean, that's fair to say. Well, people are... I'm not, uh, not going to agree with you, but... It doesn't mean you're gay. I, I don't really know. We're, I guess we'll try to figure that out as, uh, as your tenure here continues. But what I do want to bring up today is I've never seen anyone wear a baseball cap gayer in my life. That you decided the way it's sitting on your head. It, you, it, it, I've never seen anyone wear a baseball cap like you're wearing it. And I've seen baseball caps worn all sorts of ways, Anthony. Yeah. You see the rally caps at the Met games. You see the uh, the, the baseball cap on backwards. Right. The homies have it, uh, you know. Little sideways. Little sideways with a perfect angle. And, I've and they can pull it, it off. Inside out, upside down on I think your it head. looks pretty normal. I think you're looking too deep into it. I think you're looking for innuendos no, that no, are not, that no, are not dude, there. I've never seen a baseball cap sit on someone's head like that. That hat looks perfect if you're on the witness stand with Denzel Washington as your lawyer. <laughs> no, it, I, from it, it's like a, I, I don't know. It's like a conductor's hat. I would really it like to be like able a conductor's hat. to I, describe it, but I really can't. I'm troubled. I think we need a picture. Well, I can tell you, it's a BMW hat. Yeah, no, it's nothing to do with the hat. It's, not, it's, it's not, the way it's sitting hat. on your head. It's so far back on your head that the the brim oh. itself, the 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 visor part. Is, is sitting on the front of your head. But I have a big head. That's one thing. Wait, well, it's it's almost like the way that like Vic Morrow would wear his hat in 1948. Oh, very good in combat. Like yeah, or or, or in Blackboard Jungle, like the, that yeah. old vibe with the little teeny hat on the large head. Yeah. And the little uh, the open collared shirt. That's the other problem that the hat's too small for your head. You look like you know what it looks like. You look like an English private school student. Really. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think at least I toned it down today. I mean, do you think? Well, no. You have no. three buttons buttoned? Not at all. Um, the only reason that's not buttoned any lower is because the jacket itself isn't any no, no, lower. No, I mean... By the, the way, what was the last girlfriend's name? What's that? Last Julie? girlfriend's name? Okay. Yeah, of course it was Julie. <laughs> Jim, stop. <laughs> we all know it was Julie. People, uh... uh Jules. We were like, oh, what happened? We got a cliffhanger yesterday, and you're not uh, telling us. Uh, yeah, I read a lot. Of the, of I read a lot of the feedback. Oh, sorry and, to hear that. And uh, people are saying because of, I hesitated on air yesterday that you know it's questionable about my right. sexuality. Right. Right. But I think, in my defense, I think I hesitated because I'm just not the type of person. I don't like think it was the hesitation that got to the uh, yeah. listeners, quite frankly. No, I. I, mean, that's what they I said. think it was more. Uh, yeah. Your voice. I think it was, a, uh, but it had a little bit to do with the hesitation. The when we said, "What's your, what was your girlfriend's name?" Mm -hmm. The first thing you said was, "What's my girlfriend's? What was my girlfriend's name?" Yeah, I know. Like I when you ask, that. when you answer the, a question by repeating the question, yeah. that is a textbook, textbook signal for somebody is not being honest. I mean, it, it, you could read it in, you know, interrogators will tell you this. The police will tell you this. That's just how it goes. And I think that the problem was that we had we showed you the naked girl and we have audio of you looking at the naked girl. Oh, oh you want me to play that now? Yes. <laughs> this raised some eyebrows. Yes. When I don't remember this. Vomiting. Is that vomiting? I hear. Of course you don't. I don't remember this. Of course you don't. And then the smacking of the lips that. Which yeah, there were a like lot of telltale signs that you were of, really nervous of um, well, maybe I mean, not being completely honest. Is no, what we're I th saying. I think being on this, put on the spot about something personal makes me nervous. Uh, Danny well. has just handed me a note. Oh, Danny, who's leading the charge of uh, interns that don't like uh, Noah. <laughs> is this like a, becoming a club or something? I'm not in that club. I like you. Thank you. Yeah, you can, I appreciate you it. You could share uh, the microphone with Noah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> if you want air Wait. time, you got to get right yeah, up to Noah. Lupus. <laughs> no, lupus. No, just yeah, no, 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 is a no, black just, disease. Just oh, hold, just hold, disease. hold that microphone right in front of his face and lupus smack his cheek a, with it. Lupus is not a girl's disease, is it? It's a black disease. No, no. black disease. Just that's a, sickle cell. Uh, lupus is a is a disease of both genders. Oh, yeah, I'm no. sorry. I apologize. I keep my distance from Danny just so I don't get attacked. So I moved to another microphone. Are you afraid that he's one of those Matthew Shepard guys that might like oh. like want to beat you up, but they like, have weird feelings? Like as he punches you, he's letting his hand rest on your smooth chest a little too well, long. Well, I, I actually got a feedback like that in reference to Matthew Shepard in particular, really? which really? which surprised me. Huh. But um. I no, there's no, there's oh, no you violence got a really or big, anything. You got a really big collar on today too. 
I mean, it's just the wide way, lapels. Yeah, yeah, just the way I like to dress. I don't right. see. I don't see what the big and what deal kind is. of blazer is that today? Is that an expensive blazer? No, not really. It's Banana Republic. Dude, you think about what you wear every day, which is fine. But I mean, we'd all get here at like five in the morning. Not really. This Let morning. me tell you something. I see what I'm wearing. This is the second day in a row. I will wear this the rest of the week. Because <laughs> I don't care. I just want to get here, do the radio show, make sure I don't have bad breath, and get the hell out of here. My girlfriend puts my clothes out for me. Yeah, I swear I... to God, night before, they're out because I don't want to think about anything when I wake up too early in the morning. I don't want to think. My new thing is I wear the same outfit, if you want to call it, outfit all week long. Because I realize there's no reason to dress up. No. We don't have any, unless we have an interview or something stupid to do after the show, you will see me in this same sweater all week. Friday, I will be wearing the same thing. It'll be a little rankier, but the I don't same care. same sweater itself or the same type of sweater? No, the same sweater. Well, perhaps you ought to change the sweater. No, I, I, trust me, I'm paying attention. I'm smelling the clothes, making sure there's nothing happening. But <laughs> I, I'll put on some deodorant. I'll, I'll, I'll throw some cologne on, and right. I'll make sure I don't have bad breath, and I'll come in here and do the radio I show. I have to be so. honest. I woke up late this morning, and I didn't take time to pick out my outfit. Like five minutes it took. <laughs> you don't believe me? It's true. No, no, he was a little distracted by the way your hand was moving while you were no, no, playing I, that. I, actually, I don't, I don't even disagree because okay. I, I find myself, a lot of times, I will wear, like, the same socks or the same, like, clothes right. for a couple of days, you know. I've done that. I don't give any thought whatsoever I bet to what I put on no. in the morning. I, as I move my if hand, if you just like get that. up like that, and it's not a big deal. I'm You're very animated, by the way. Yes, you like to animated. talk with your hands. Yeah, your hand is always like moving, like a magician would move it as he's you know trying to kind conjure of, I, I, something. I, I, it's kind of like you have a tough time keeping your your hand up when I you talk. I think you're trying to make just kind of... here. I don't know. No, 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 no just, implications. No, no, no. We're just pointing out <laughs> things that are actually. Anthony happening. and I are very observant. That's yeah. why we're as popular we as we are. To be. We have <laughs> to be. <laughs> we observe human nature yeah. and we uh, comment on it. That's, Nobody's. Uh, that's why we get paid the big bucks, there, Noah. So uh, we got Danny in the studio. Danny, what is the problem today? <laughs> um, well. I noticed something when I came in today that kind of disturbed me a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed Noah's chest stubble, and that that kind of uh, chest stubble. Stubble, yeah. yeah. Chest stubble. Yeah. Have Noah? Yeah. Do you shave your chest? Yes, I do. Right. <laughs> okay. Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Just remain calm and grab, grab the seat, strap in whatever you have to do to to get over that. Well, All I right. I don't like having hairy chest. I, I got to side I, with I, no on that one. I, but, but, Shut up, Jimmy. No, 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 but no, no. You no, can't no. even grow hair. I, no, I don't have chest hair. Um, but I, I like, I know guys like Florentine. I know other guys that are very straight that do shave their chest hair because. So I can't. Knock I've been known. That. I've been known to trim Thank up. Thank you. I've been known to trim up. But I, I let it grow in. I don't judge you, dude. Like, whatever you want to hold in your mouth for hours on end is your business. That's <laughs> oh, between... No, 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 no. Dude, whatever it is. Speaking of hair, uh, Jimmy has a very uh, strange thing that's going on with, the, the, with I, his arm. I, what? Uh, what? There's nothing Look strange about it. Look how no hair is none. there. Except little fine wisps of hair. I don't shave that at all. It's like you totally see? natural. It's yeah, actually, feel feel how wispy that arm weird. hair is. That's very strange. There's no, there's no hair. That's good. <laughs> 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 oh god damn <laughs> Yeah yeah <laughs> oh, oh, I love I that guy that will never get old <laughs> We could have flying cars and mylar suits and I'd still be <laughs> laughing at that it's, All right it's the stupidest thing Found out a little bit <laughs> A little bit more that you shave your uh, chest. How often do you have to shave your chest hair? Nothing I do regularly. I mean, no, no. You let it grow in uh, yeah, a little it, bit. I mean, if it's, if it's so you disturb that it's a little stubbly today. Your chest hair. Electri no, not really. Electric, electric, I mean, or ra regular razor. Just a regular razor. Yeah. A little shaving cream. Do you shave your butt crack too, so nobody gets chafed? No, I don't. Oh, wow, wow, oh, that's, that's making some wow, type of accusation. That's a huge accusation. Danny's like that's Danny. A big wow. I don't like the fact that Danny's implying that you shave your chest hair. Yeah. Because it gets annoying pulling rubber cement out of it in the shower. 
<laughs> Steve, here, here's Steve. What a mess. Steve. Of, what a mess of people. Oh, boy, if that isn't a perfect. Oh, big Steve. bear helping, <laughs> yeah. helping the little guy with his microphone. Helping uh, a small cub. I was going to say, I do believe they call him a cub. A cub. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I was we we couldn't hear his uh, his fabulous commentary in the other room, so I was simply assisting. Oh, we him. heard it. <laughs> yeah, it's Martini Steve. Yeah, bad. Well, I right. have to say that um, being, yeah. a, being a Jewish guy, you usually right. you get your pretty hairy chest, and I just don't like having that. So. You don't like that, so no. yeah, that's, that's a, fair it, enough. Fair it, enough. It, I think that's a very good explanation it, today. Fair enough, sir. Fair enough. Nothing to do with being a fairy Could or you pull that? Could or... you pull the hat down, though? Yeah, but it's I have, like a big head. That's the reason. Did you wear that to try to be a little more manly today, and you figured, all right, I'll, no, I'll wear a hat? No, I wear this all the time. You can ask anybody. Who are you going to ask? My roommates. Ah. Ah, yeah. oh, roommates. Well, let's <laughs> dig get into that a little bit, <laughs> Noah's sir. roommates. Yeah. Noah's roommates. My so roommates. You, you, you have roommates. Is this a house? No, this is a dorm. A dorm, okay. Yes. So you're dorm. in the dorm over uh, NYU, I guess. Yes, I am. And uh, how many roommates in the I dorm? I have three other roommates. So three other three. roommates. It's uh, sweet. Yes. It's a sweet scene is what that is. <laughs> uh, okay, so so three roommates and uh, mm. what are they like? What are they like? Uh, well, one of them is going into the business world, mm-hmm. like financial business student. Yeah. Okay. Other one is a uh, political guy. He's joining the Navy. I know that. The Navy. In right. the Navy. You can sell the seven seas in, in the, the Navy. Navy. You could drop, drop down to your knees. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. Venereal disease. <laughs> <laughs> well, drop down knees. Venereal disease. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> do whatever you want as long as you only need nine toes to do it. <laughs> <laughs> My other roommate is uh, one of those like liberal protester type guys. Really yeah. Super right. Left wing. Douchebag, basically. Yeah, ass. He's ass a wife. douche. Well, you know, he does all kinds of, like, protest stuff. I remember, like, I I, in, uh, like, 2001, he got on, like, MTV and did this big siege of TRL. and. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tough guy. Yeah, like, what a war, bag. Like, war protests and stuff like that. Yeah, war protest guy. Why don't you just say that his parents probably have money, right? Yes, they yeah, do. Of course they do. He's a guilt-ridden, upper-middle-class kid who uh, can't deal with his own superiority complex, so he decides that he's going to go out there and make a difference, but he really just right. wants attention to shame mommy and daddy. There so you go. Your roommate, when you say, what's your roommate do? Say, he's a bucket of jism. Mm-hmm. That's what he is. There you go. Uh, do these roommates have uh, girlfriends? Um, one of them does. One? Uh, no, actually, two of them do. Two of them do. Of them do. And yes. you've seen the girls. Yes, I have. Uh-huh. I have seen the girls. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Right. Until they like your girlfriend. Do you like my girlfriend? I don't mm-hmm. have one at the moment. So. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, not Julie. So the first time you had sex, you were on a couch at a party in front of party goers. I'm not back to this. That's yeah. what we heard yesterday for people that didn't hear yesterday's show. Uh, uh, apparently, Noah had his first sexual experience with a girl at a house party on the couch uh, where, you know, there's party goers around. It's a little odd that you would choose that time and place to, as your first time. You know, a lot of people a little, little inhibited their first time. Anthony, um, I got a question for Noah. Uh-huh. Okay. Ricky Martin fan? No, absolutely not. Oh, who do you uh, like listening to? Who do I like listening to? I like listening to Led Zeppelin, actually. Uh huh. And most people don't believe that for my age because mm-hmm. I'm young, and people mm-hmm. are like, "How can you well, be the best?" Not, they're not <laughs> believing it because of your age. But uh, yeah, all right. Go all ahead. right. What else? <laughs> what else? Zeppelin. <laughs> what else besides Zeppelin? Rolling Stones. Do you like watching Robert Plant and those old like the song remains the same? In that uh, is that his? That's the name of that yeah, live Zeppelin yeah, thing, yeah, those yeah. jeans he had on, like Actually, the Bruce yeah. Dickerson Iron Maiden poster. Certain ones just stand out. I met him uh, about a year and a half ago because I worked for his record company as an oh, intern. Oh, okay. And uh, he still wears the same jeans, but uh, doesn't. it's not exactly the same no. guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. certain things. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so you like the Stones, uh, Zeppelin. Yep, yep. Anything Classic current? Rock. Anything current that you're uh, into? Current, I like, I don't know, like Maroon 5. Yeah, in terms of like five. current news, like mm-hmm. new stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. If you were to be gay, uh, mm-hmm. what uh, celebrity would you have sex with? If I were to be, yeah. If you had to pick a celebrity, for me, it's Ozzy Osbourne. Wow, Jimmy. Yeah, right. talked that years ago. That's kind of nasty, though. Exactly, but oh. it's not about the sex. Why it's would about it be? Him. Why would it be nasty to have sex with Ozzy? Because uh, he's kind of a old guy. So there are guys <laughs> that would be better <laughs> than Ozzy. <laughs> I, I mean, I would think so. <laughs> we had pay dirt. Because he's an older guy. So that's no, that's a good point. That's actually that's fair. Okay. He's yeah. old, and he's not in good shape. He's not in good it's shape. It's not that he's a guy. It's just that he's an older guy. I mean, right. So it? if you weren't, let's just say, 
Let's go out on a limb here. Say, if you weren't attracted Wait, to why girls. Are we going, why are we going out on a limb? I'm not going out on a limb. Okay. I'm saying, well, let's go out on a limb if you weren't. Jimmy said he'd have sex with Ozzy if he was gay, and you said it's nasty because Ozzy's, you know. Old and, and bad shape, and he's, right. you know. Yeah. So, who would you have sex with if you were gay? Yeah. What if celebrity? I, if I was. If you had to pick. Yeah. God, that's a hard one. I don't know. I know. There's a lot of choices, but I mean, if you had to narrow it down yeah. for a first experience. Uh, I'd say Jude Law is a good-looking guy. <laughs> Jude Law? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get a little Jude Law. Who's Jude Law? English actor. Okay. What's he been in? Jude he Law was in uh, a AI and... Uh, I don't watch a lot of his movies. So. He was AI. In, uh, he was just in that movie... Um, AI, Anal Insertion? <laughs> 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 well, that's the porn version of uh, of uh, the, the Kubrick film. Sure. Wasn't he just in Alfie? Yeah, he was the, he was the lead in Alfie, sure. Right. So you'd have sex with Jude Law. Jude Law, Jude Law was hosting the Saturday Night Live. I didn't say I would. No, he, we know Jimmy. We know Jimmy. He's just saying. I said if that. When, like, all right. So if, what? What right. were you? When you had my choices. Right. What is it that made you pick him? What is it that made me pick him? Yeah. Yes. Fair question. I told you why I picked Ozzy. Uh, I guess out of all the choices, he's decent looking. So there's a lot yeah. of choices out there. Is he in good shape? I assume so. Okay. Mm. For a pretty, mm. he's a pretty popular actor. A lot yeah, of girls sure. like him. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. It's what uh, uh, what female celebrity do you find attractive? Female celebrity, uh, I would say Catherine Zeta Jones. Catherine Zeta Jones. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a hacky answer. Yeah. You know what thing. I mean? It's like saying, do you watch football? And you don't watch football, you can just go, yeah, like Dallas. Just right, right. You can pull out. America's team <laughs> kind of thing. I got gotcha. you. I, I don't see anything wrong with that answer. I'm not saying it is wrong. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. What's wrong with the answer? Well, the answer's all. fine. Nothing at all. <laughs> all right, Noah. For me, the female celebrity I'd like to bang the most is Madeline Stowe. That's always the one that Madeline I thought was Stowe? the sure. sexiest. Yeah, I, I've always thought she was the hottest. Okay. So Jude Law, if you had to pick a second choice, second who choice. would be second? Yeah, Jude is busy. Oh, God. Yes. Doing yeah. another bad film. Jude is uh, busy banging broad, so yeah, you got to pick someone else. I don't. I've never given this any thought, so I don't. All right, yeah. well, just I, give I, it a second. Well, you pulled uh, Jude Law to okay. thin air. Yeah. Well, there are images in your head right now. I'm sure. Who, Who comes to mind, honestly? Yeah. Who's going through the Rolodex right now in your head? Who comes to mind? Because uh, if you had to do it, but there had to be kissing involved too, it wouldn't just be like. Sex. It would have to be like a gentle, nice experience. Like right, right. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah, you're not gay if you don't kiss. Right. So you'd have yeah. to kiss the guy, too. Right, yes. Right. Hmm. And hold his chin <laughs> right. with your right. thumb and pointer Very finger. Very tenderly. Gently. And then do this. <laughs> um, I guess... All right, I guess I would go with Matt Damon, and I would say it would be... Matt second Damon. <laughs> second, uh, second choice. Yeah. Matt Damon. Yeah. All right, Matt because, Damon. But you asked. No, right. understandable. It's because we asked. Well, let's ask Danny. Danny, if you were gay, who would you have sex with? I want to hear this. There is no correct answer <laughs> to this question. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the recruit knows. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's no, an answer. No, do you understand that everyone in the other room is yelling and screaming and trying to help you out going, do not answer that yeah. question? They're all, like, screaming. I can see it through the glass going, no. See, Noah, you never answer that question. That's that's the thing that every guy seems to know. When you're asked that, you just never answer it. I, I don't know. There about is that. no correct answer because he said, "Well, he picked Jude Law first, but then you like when the kissing thing came, you said Matt Damon. Obviously, he's a better actor. I think he's a better actor. Yeah, he's, actor. he's probably better looking. I mean, you may think Jude Law is better looking, but I think Matt Damon is better looking. Uh, all right. Well, Noah, thank you very much. Of course, anytime. Okay. Noah, our new intern again. Uh, 